Well, a new report is predicting that Canada's red-hot housing market will slow down next year. Joining me now from downtown Toronto is Peter Norman. He is the chief economist for Altus Group, the company that did the study. Thanks for joining with us, Peter. So uh, walk us through, what were the key findings from your report? Well, of course, uh, part of the thing is it's not that we're coming off of a red-hot market. We're coming off of a market which has been steady and solid now throughout 2011, perhaps overperforming a little bit in terms of construction levels. Uh, resale markets have been very steady. Prices have been very steady. Interest rates are good. But we see that there are some risk factors ahead, and that's where we're moving for 2012 to a slightly, to a slightly more modest level of construction. And is this for across the country, or you know, do we see variations? Well, there's certainly this is a kind of a nationwide uh, analysis that I've just given you right now in terms of the uh, in terms of uh, those big factors that uh, are taking us where we are down to a slightly lower level. There are always regional variations. We see some provinces are going to be you know continue to be pretty buoyant, like Saskatchewan, or or even improve into next year with uh, such as uh, Alberta, which is still just recovering from the recession and uh, and is being buoyed by in migration. But certainly some of the big provinces like Ontario, Quebec, BC, their big ties to the, to the lagging U.S. economy. Uh, that's where we're going to see slowdown both in terms of economic growth, uh, of course the employment, migration that goes with that, and of course the housing market uh, uh, that follows. Why do you think that these housing stats matter for, for the average person? Well, of course they they matter on one level because uh, the average person is a home owner is either a homeowner in most cases they're either a homeowner or they want to be one and so they are anxious to know that the market at least has uh, a, a modicum of stability to it that we're not moving into a crash that there's not going to be a US style uh, problems in the market that uh, end up uh, end up uh, destroying people's wealth and all of that and certainly my my report and my expectations 2012 2013 etc is nothing like that we're not looking at a crash we're not looking at uh, dramatic changes to pricing, etc. So I think that's good news. That's why it's that's why people should be concerned, and that's why this report is uh, good news. On the other hand, the people should also be concerned about housing construction levels, etc., because they're an indicator of the economy, and they give some they give they give a good indication about uh, you know how much momentum we actually have. Uh, housing construction creates jobs, both directly and indirectly, in communities. It's a very important sector to the Canadian economy. Uh, I'm in the second category that you mentioned that those who have a house or those who want a house and <laughs> want a house. Uh, I, I th we saw a board that said that uh, home construction will be lower in 2012. I just want to confirm that's that's what you were saying, correct? That's that's right. Okay. I mean, and, 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 to, and to put that into context again at a national level, uh, you know, we had a, we're, this year we're going to have about 190,000 housing starts. We think that that's modestly above demographic demand, uh, sort of longer term requirements for housing. And so really 2012, 2013 is getting back down to perhaps more normal levels of construction. One, you know, 100 in the, in the 180,000s, perhaps into the 170,000s okay. over the next few years. So Peter, you, you say the market won't crash, but that's still bad news for somebody like me who wants to buy a house because if not, admit, uh, they're not not constructing as many houses that means the inventory is getting smaller and smaller and so the seller can make more and more and more right well part of the reason why uh, housing start why we think housing starts will cool in the next couple of years is really that that the macro demand is going down so ah. I think you may still be in luck because you may have uh, less competition uh, as you're as you're waiting on the on the curbside uh, to put in your bids on those houses in the next couple of years all right from your lips to God's ears thanks Peter Peter Norman the chief thanks, economist for Altus group thanks so much